YouTube, what is good, man? You already see what we got going on today. If you could tell from the background, we're gonna be doing a self cut, all right? And your boy is looking super rough, um, because usually I get a haircut once a week, um, but I'm a little over, so I'm like a week and four days because tomorrow, me, the wifey, and the daughter are headed to Puerto Rico. All right, we're going on a little family vacation, and I'm excited for that. But I gotta go ahead and get myself right on the late night, and I'm gonna take y'all with me on how to do my cut. So usually I knock down the top to a four with the grain. And reason being is because as you can see, your boy's corners is getting light and the forehead is stretching. So I gotta make sure I keep it dark. And then we're gonna do a mid fade, line up the beard, and I'm gonna get myself right for vacation. So I'm gonna take y'all with me, man. I'm gonna talk to y'all while I do it. Let's get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip the mic right here. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. So yeah, man, I've been looking forward to this cut. Um, really since saturday since that's what usually when i do it before i start my work day on saturday and especially today bro you know when you get it when you go without a while without a cut and you start feeling like I mean, you don't want to look nobody in the face and you know you ain't feeling as confident as you should yeah that was me all day bro i'm not even gonna lie to you i spray down the clippers first all right so i'm gonna start off this cut first by establishing the bald line but I'm gonna come in with the lever. Oh, let me show y'all. Lever all the way closed. Zoom in a little bit for y'all. All right, so I'm gonna start, because for me, I don't keep a C cup. I just do straight vertical bars. So I'm gonna start right where the, the top of the arch will be. And I'm gonna come straight back with my lever closed. I gotta get the right angle. Hold up, let me zoom out. There you go. All right. I'm just gonna follow that straight back. And I like doing the lever close as opposed to the trimmer first because it just makes it a lot easier to get rid of that first guideline. And hopefully the clipper isn't sounding super loud. Usually I don't have the clipper this close to the mic when I'm cutting clients. Oh, maybe I can move it over a little bit because I can't even move my neck. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt out the bottom with our trimmer. And we're not going all the way up to the top of that guideline, we're just kind of going into it. And this just makes getting rid of that first guideline a lot easier. But yeah, man, this right here, bro, is exactly how I started cutting hair. You know, I remember eighth grade going into freshman year. Um, you know, I just wanted to stay fresh all the time. I started to care about how I look. And at the time, you know, my mom could really only take me to get a haircut every three weeks to a month. And me, I was like, bro, my hair is growing quick. I want a haircut, you know, every week. So surely enough, you know, my mom had some clippers um, in the closet that she used to use to cut my hair, um, you know, for a period of time. And I was like, bro, you know what? I know some people who do their own. I'm gonna just hop on YouTube, you know? And I went from there, bro, and it started just getting myself right. Then it turned into my cousins and then my friends. And now you guys know me as Drake Clipper Hands, bro. But even to this day, the reason I really still cut my own hair <clears throat> is because I enjoy the time you know, I could just spend with myself, just listening to music, getting myself looking right. Um, and in all honesty, man, I, I'm pretty picky, especially when it comes to my hairline. Just because, you know, I definitely don't have the best hairline and I wanna keep what I got, you know what I'm saying? At least for the time being. So I feel like if I go get a haircut from somebody else, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up anyway. So I might as well do it myself. <clears throat> but I have within the past couple years, let a few people cut my hair, but since I do get my haircut every week, and I, I'll be so busy. I'm just like, bro, I'm gonna do it myself. It usually takes me about an hour to do my haircut with my beard and my eyebrows. So it's not too bad. Let me go open this door, bro, I'm getting hot. All right, bro, we back with it, we back with it. That's one thing, man. How many of y'all can hate cutting sweaty clients? Cause I know for me, bro, outside of a client's hair just being dirty, cutting a client who is like perspirating like crazy, bro. It's not it, man. You can't, all the hair is sticking to the head in the process of you cutting it. The lineup, you can't even get it sharp because the skin is wet, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, 
one of my pet peeves as a barber. But sometimes these dudes can't control it. They come in, they're cool, they sit down, they get the cape put on them, and they just start leaking. And sometimes I'm like, bro, go get checked out. What is wrong with you? <clears throat> so now, after we bought it out the bottom, we're gonna come in with our shaver and get it, you know, close to the skin. Especially with me, if I don't use a shaver, bro, my haircut will last literally a day. And now after I do the, the, the balding out of the fade, I like to go ahead and take down the top. And like I said, I'm gonna come in with the four guard, lever closed, and we're just gonna go with the grain of the hair. So I can do it facing y'all for a sec. So I'm just gonna go with the grain. If I patch myself for the content, man, it's all, it'll all be worth it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and come this way. And we're just going with the grain of the hair. It's not gonna take off much, cause like I said, I do cut my hair pretty often. That's one thing about them little hairs, bro. They tickle like crazy. Bro, why am I so hot, man? I think y'all making me nervous. That's what it is, bro. Y'all making me nervous. So for this next step, we're gonna come in with the lever all the way open, and we're gonna go about a finger's width. I like my blends to be, you know, as stretched out as they can. Let me turn this light down a little bit. So like I said, lever all the way open. And I finished the other side of my fade, so what I'm gonna do is just connect it. And this side tends to be a little tougher because the lighting that I'm using right now is kind of, you know, dimmer on this side. So I might need to do a little bit more detail work towards this side over here. As you see, we're still gonna get this thing blurry. See, I use that mirror, make sure that it's connecting right there in the back. All right, and then now we're gonna come in with that one guard, lever open, and we're gonna set in our guidelines going up. So we're lever all the way open here. You see, I'll continue to brush every time I pass the clipper. Now right above that, we're gonna have our two guard lever open as well, doing the same exact thing. And with this, you're not gonna see a super distinct line. It's gonna be very faint. And I'm coming off the shape of my head here. Our three guard with the lever all the way open. And we're being real consistent, real patient here. Cause a lot of times when you're cutting your own hair, you know, it could be frustrating cause you're like, man, why can't I get this line out, you know? But just take your time, don't rush it. Cause I tell you what, man, when I first started cutting my own hair, it definitely wasn't as good as it is now. I used to have a one guard on top with a bald fade. And I'm telling you, I look like a, I don't even know what I look, I look an egg. I have no facial hair, no nothing. So now since we're into the, the bigger guards, I'm gonna use my combs to kind of comb everything down. And we're gonna grab our four guard with that lever all the way open. And that should pretty much blend into this length on top here. And now we're gonna start blending down with this line right here. So we're gonna come in with our one and a half with that lever all the way open. And as you guys could probably already tell, man, I'm the same exact system I use on clients, you know, I use them myself. And we're gonna start blending down here. The, the back tends to be a little tough, so you gotta maneuver your neck, you know, in weird ways but eventually you get used to it.
And you know, you might create a line in the process of trying to get one out, but you can always go back in detail, like I, like I say all the time, which is definitely what I'm gonna need to go back and do. We're gonna go to our half guard lever open, and we're gonna start getting rid of this line right here. So we're starting off open, and then you'll see me close that little by little. Man, who's your guys' favorite artist right now? Whether it be hip hop or any genre of music. Who's your go-to artist, go-to song, go-to album, go-to genre? For me, my go-to genre is always gonna be rap music, always gonna be hip hop. And my favorite artist right now really is um, Larry June, man. And 360 Jeezy, if you're watching this video, I know you, you be hating on Larry June, but I'm telling you, man, he is really him, no pun intended. Larry June, who else? Drake, top two, not two. Lil Baby, obviously. Um, and then really outside of that, man, I listen to a lot of worship music, Christian worship music, Christian hip hop. Um, I like listening to podcasts. Podcasts has really been my thing lately. Just trying to, you know, learn as much as I possibly can. More so on the personal development business side is usually what I try to gear towards when, you know, I'm listening to podcasts or certain people. Just get me in the right mindset, you know what I mean? So now what I'm gonna try to do before getting rid of this last line here is I'm gonna try to just blend this area above that a little more. So I'm just gonna detail. Got my one and a half line here closed. And we're just using the corners to get into those dark areas. But yeah, man, I'm excited for this vacation, bro. I haven't, I haven't took a vacation, honestly, since I proposed to, to my wife, you know, two, two years ago, two and a half years ago in Florida. So this is very much needed. And originally back in September when we got married, man, we, uh, we had a honeymoon, honeymoon plan for Puerto Rico, but what had happened is they got that big hurricane again, and you know, all the flights in and out of Puerto Rico got canceled. So we were like, man, you know what? And then we just took a random trip to New York for like, you know, three, four days, took the baby with us and just chilled. So we still have yet to go on our honeymoon. The baby is still going with us on this trip, but you know, better than nothing, man. So I'm super excited. We head out tomorrow at 10 a.m., so not too early. Get to sleep in a little bit. So now I'm in here with my two guard. Touching up that weight. And what I think happened is I washed my hair before I came here, but I didn't comb it through. And I don't know why this side is matted, but this side is a little more matted and pressed down than the other side. So that's where a lot of these dark spots came from. So I'm just trying my best to blend it. I could rewash it to get them out, but honestly, I'm really not trying to do that. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start attacking this last line here. So I'm gonna come in with that lever closed all the way, and then I'll gradually open it little by little. So I'm gonna start in the back, since so that's where I'm trying to connect it. So I'm coming in closed here. And we're just tapping at that line, going up a little bit. And I kind of have an indent right here in my head, so what I like to do is just kind of stretch that out with my other hand. Just kind of get in there a little bit. Now we're gonna open up that notch a little bit more. Now we're about a quarter of the way. Right back into this area here. Now we're gonna open it up about a little under uh, fully open using a lot of the corner of that blade here. So now we're coming in with the half guard fully open and we're looking for any dark spots, trying to get this blend as consistent as possible. And like I said, this is definitely my more challenging side 
Let me know, man. Should I have been a singer, bro? I'm telling you, I should have. No cap. So now to blend right into the beard. I don't got to do much. I don't take my blend super deep. I kind of like to keep it right at the ear. <clears throat> so I'm just going to come in open. And all this is is just a reverse taper. So open, and there'll be a faint line in between. So I close it and then open it little by little. So I'm actually going to start closed here. Just kind of tap, and then I'll go open. Remember, not going super deep. And that pretty much blends us right into the beard. So after we do the fade, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lineup. <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you guys my lineup. Now, as you can see, my forehead is big, ain't no hiding it, but my corners are higher than my middle. So what I like to do is start at my highest corner and just bring that straight across. Now for me, my hairline will never be perfectly straight, but this helps me, um, you know, it helps my hairline look a little fuller even though I am lifting up that middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by the corner. Now the, the angle might not be the best, but you're gonna see exactly how I go about lining up this corner. All right, so we're gonna start in that middle, or in that corner. And now, let me take y'all to this other side. I'm gonna go ahead and line up that left corner as well. So I'm gonna line up that left corner. And my bad if I'm covering y'all up, but like I said, my hairline gotta be a certain way in order for it to look good, so I can't sacrifice this for the vid, but I'm gonna try my best. So, um, so as you guys can see, I lined up that right corner and then that left corner, and now I'm gonna bring that straight across. Make sure you wanna take your time with this, you don't wanna rush the hairline. And as you can see, that widow's peak be going crazy, so I do cut it off. I'm not trying to look like Vegeta. And yeah, it does grow back, but I'm a barber, so I can shave my widow's peak every other day if I wanted to. Going to brush away all those little hairs. So as you can see, forehead is still shining, but that lineup is looking a lot more like dense and full, a little more symmetrical, making that blend look finished. But now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the straight razor, then get into the mustache, beard, and eyebrows. You hear it? That angle kinda tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. That angle kinda tough. Hold up. All right, hopefully that's in focus. So I'm just gonna, you know, use the straight razor to get that widow's peak. So now we're just gonna get into the eyebrows. Man, my eyebrows have been woofing for a minute now, so I'm excited. <clears throat> to line these babies up, man. Definitely feel like it changes my face shape. And a lot of people ask me about this scar that I have here on my eyebrow. Like, Dre, is that is that like, do you put that in or is that a scar? So, honestly, man, this is a scar that I've had since I was a baby. But, you know, for the longest, it was just a light spot. So I was like, bro, I'm about to just, you know, enhance the scar. So now I just press it in the part into my eyebrow. So I'm gonna start off by getting majority of the hair off with my trimmer, especially in the middle. And then I'm gonna come in with my razor. So now we're gonna use some level three um, shave gel because my skin definitely you know, can turn red. Some days I'm more sensitive than others. I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm, I'm tired, bro. This is taking a little longer than usual just because I am recording it. And at this point, bro, I'm just trying to get up out of here, go home, get some rest for this flight. This definitely used to be super scary for me to do when I first started. Cause I was like, bro, what if I cut myself? But I also knew nothing could be worse than what my mom used to do, man. She used to do my eyebrows with like a regular, you know, big razor. And she would go like the full length of the big razor right down the middle of my eyebrows. They used to be so far apart. So I was like, bro, I can't do it no more, bro. I'd rather have a cut than my eyebrows be that thin and that far apart. I promise you. No cap though, the one big game changer I feel like for me, makes me look a little bit younger, is the mustache, man. And when this thing is long, I'm telling you, bro, I can feel it, it's like a weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a one guard with that lever open, and I'm gonna knock down my mustache. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. She's out of my eye, bro. Golly. And I, like, I don't like to make my mustache super thin how I used to. I just kind of hit the bottom and right in these corners. I mean, I just feel so much cleaner. And this can sometimes be a tough area as well. But I kind of just want to clean it up because I naturally kind of have it rounded there. And one way I test if this is too long is if I can go like that and there's too much hair that I can grab, it's too long. But I trimmed it last week, so. This is the before and y'all see the after, man. Definitely feeling brand new. Got myself together with the clean fade. And I'm ready for vacation. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go to the beach, eat some good food, spend some time with the family, and just enjoy ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But hey, listen, if you are, are uh, looking to learn how to cut your own hair, I hope this video will help you in some way, shape, or form. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you. Send me, send me some DMs on Instagram of your self cuts, and I'll tell you how you did, all right? But like always, fam, I appreciate y'all, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.